Hello and welcome to Only Connect the Grand Final. It's week 27 of this Marmoth series and my friends have started saying you've changed since you've been in Cardiff. You and your new fancy Welsh ways. And I say don't be ridiculous, Bach. I'm the same as ever. <laughs> Bartling for the championship tonight are on my right. Paul Beecher, a postgraduate student whose Easter egg was eaten by his dog and who recently gatecrashed the President of Ireland's speech at the Royal Society. Simon Spiro, a vet who reprimanded a noted scientist at a Royal Society dinner for failing to wash his hands after going to the loo. And their captain, Sean Blanchflower, a software manager who was accused of undermining the foundations of British science after beating a team of Royal Society fellows in a quiz. All much loved by the Royal Society, they are the Orienteers. Sean, you've beaten the Romantics, the Games Masters twice and the QI Elves. How much do you want to win this final? Well, the, the QI Elves made us promise to win, to uphold the honour of this half of the draw, so we're going to give it everything we've got. Honour is at stake against, on my left, Henry Patinez, a postdoctoral research scientist who can speak 600 words in Japanese and spent the precious minutes before this final Only Connect appearance ironing his lucky shirt. Nick Mills, a software tester whose favourite author borrowed his living room chair to perform a one-man production of the Epic of Gilgamesh. And their captain, Stephen Pearson, a Manchester-based Manchester United fan who has appeared on television 18 times, 17 times on quizzes and once playing the glockenspiel. Keen to mate their opponents, they <laughs> are the chessmen. Stephen, you lost to the linguists but then beat the wandering minstrels, the felinophiles, the gallifreyans and the history boys. How competitive are you and how much do you want to win tonight? Well, it, it has been said that there's actually no such thing as a, a friendly game of chess, so I think you can draw your own conclusions. Well, I'm certainly not in a friendly mood. The questions are going to be horrible, I'm pleased to say. Chessmen, you won the toss, but you've decided to put the Orienteers in first, unsettling them from the off. So, Orienteers, please pick a hieroglyph. Twisted flax, please. OK. The first question of the final will be the Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Oh, crossed out. It's crossing out. We, 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 it's also an unusual... Do you understand the writings of Sir Tefram? It's an unusual writing. It's not only blue, but it's not only white. Uh, Next, please. Is it Luke's Gospel A lectionary? A lectionary, is yes. mm. I think we're going to need more. Next, please. Mm. Next, please. Is this could be how things were retitled and something? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, palimpsest. Three seconds. Like that. That's a good word. How about um, ancient works that were written over as a palimpsest by the by the second work? Palimpsest is a good word. It's also a good answer. You are correct for one point. They are palimpsests. The words that are crossed out here are things that were obscured by what came after, what was written over the top. Do you know what a lectionary is? It's, um, it tells you the order of um, readings in the, the Christian church. Of a day's church services, exactly so. They are actually all, I think, religious writings written in palimpsest form over something else. Well done. Chessmen, your turn to choose. Uh, horned viper, please. The horned viper. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, William Henry Harrison. The well, President of the United States. He's the one that famously... No, yeah, ne right. Next, please. Also President. Yeah, that's right. So we go next, please. Yeah. Are they unmarried? Or... Next, please. Unmarried was Buchanan. Tyler. Were they Vice President too? Shall I go next? Yeah, go next. Uh, next, please. Yeah. I mean, they're all in the same sort of period. That's right. Um, any ideas? Are they rated at the bottom? Are they the bottom four? Or right? Are they the longest, or shortest reign or something? It or? could be, but Harrison was very short. But they... Three seconds. But, uh, yeah. uh, their short reign isn't the right word, but short period of time as US president? That would not be the correct four for that connection, I'm afraid. So, Orienteers, you have the chance of a bonus point. Yeah, I will how about they were... were they all unmarried? They were not all unmarried. 
What they were is the only four Whig presidents oh, of the United yeah. States, yeah. all Whigs, and there were no others but these four. Okay. So no bonus point, Orienteers, but you can get many points with your own question. What will it be? Lion, please. Lion. The musical audio question. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling. Next, please. Chat these singles, like multi singles. Mm -hmm. right, then mm -hmm. Next, please. Sitar. Yeah. Very yeah. Shankar, Shankar. Yeah. Shankar, Shankar, lovely. Yeah. Gurkha links, no? Because just because Three seconds. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got it. Oh, good. They were all born in India. They were all born in India. Very well done. I was hoping you'd go to Clue 4 earlier so we could have had the sound of the sitar for the full 40 seconds, but no. What did you hear? Um, well, the people then were Spike Milligan, I guess, Joanna Lumley. Um, it was Joanna Lumley. Cliff Richard and Ravi Shankar, perhaps. That's absolutely right. All the performers born in India. Back to you, chessmen, for a choice. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Can you know what Hesse is? Uh, Hesse is the name of the reign of a Japanese emperor. I think Hesse is um, Hirohito. And when he became an emperor, when they oh, get in 1926. Uh, next, please. Um, oh, and is that a Chinese emperor in which he became? Get the next one. Uh, oh, this would do. Next, please. Uh, beginning of dynasties. The beginning oh, well, the, of dating systems, isn't it? The beginning oh, no, of dating oh, no, systems. No, no, so oh, so need next, don't yeah. we? Next, please. Is it the current year in? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's the current year in various different calendars. It is the year 2014, coinciding with various different calendars. What can you tell me about the clues you're looking at? Uh, well, the last one is the Gregorian calendar. The uh, third one is 1435 Anu Hegeri, or however you pronounce it, um, in the uh, Islamic calendar. Uh, I think the first two are respectively the Japanese and Chinese calendars. That's right, and I heard you saying it is to do with Emperor Hirohito. When he died, the Heisei era began. So Heisei 26 is the one that would overlap most with 2014 in our own calendar. Orienteers, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Um, that's one for you, Paul. It could be people from Irish mythology. Do you know? Uh, yeah, Next, yes, please. White Death, that's the, that's the bubonic plague where you get the mnemonic plague, isn't it? Or maybe not. Next, please. Oh, good. Is that Robin Hood? Uh, no, I don't think he has a no, virus. I think he's had a sort of... No. Yeah, Paul? No. no. <laughs> Seems unlikely, that's... that's Next, please. Can you show us the second? Merry Monarch? Merry Man? Oh, yeah. Oh, Merry. Yeah. Merry Man. White Death. Two seconds. We'll go for Mary. I think that would not be an appropriate answer. So, chessmen, you have the chance of a bonus point. Any guess at all? Um, uh, to do with hiding in trees? It is to do with hiding what? in trees. <laughs> they all hid in trees. King Charles II, most famously, Robin Hood was always up there. Yes. Quite <laughs> white death. Dear Mado Divner, that's a warrior in Irish mythology. And the second one, White Death, that's a, a Finnish sniper from the Red Army. He killed over 500 people. I can't really accept that he was merry. I mean, he may have been, but what we know about him, not very merry. So well done, chessmen, for the bonus point. And the last question for you, water. These are going to be pictures, pictures I expect. Yes. What connects them? Here's the first. Is it Noctus? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next, please. He's no, it's, it's only got six arms, though, hasn't he? Um, Cutty Sark? Uh, no, it's not a Cutty Sark, but it's a that's small big that. ship. Uh, next, please. So that's one that it's a leap. It. leap. Is it to do with jump or something? We'll be going next, haven't we? You think? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next, please. Oyster. Oyster. That's an oyster, is it? So we think we've got a squid or octopus. Yeah. 
Is that what I think so? Three seconds. Um, octopus is garden. Uh, no, uh, leap. Not the connection, I'm afraid. So a bonus chance for you now, Orienteers. Um, types of card. Types of card? Like an oyster card. And so on. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to let you have another go, but I need to hear something very specific. Um, Lon transport for London. Now you've gone too specific, I'm afraid. I can't <laughs> accept it for a bonus in the final. They are all public transport smart cards. Mm. The Octopus card will be used on public transport in Hong Kong, the Clipper card in San Francisco, Leap card in Dublin, and, of course, the Oyster card wow. in London. At the end of round one, the chessmen have two points, the Orienteers have two points. <laughs> two points, two points, round two. It's the sequences round, what would come fourth in a very hidden sequence. Orienteers, you'll be going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What would come fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Fourth what? So there's some sort of units. The, the units, but what's the order? Uh, w, X, Y, Z. Both. Uh, Next, please. Is this, is this like, is this an equation? The order of the letters for C, order. W, N. Yeah. Next, please. So what else are there? Jules, kilos, meat, jewels, jewels, jewels pascals. Um, the fundamental. Mm -hmm. like e. Three seconds. I'm going to want before you speak a very specific and perfect answer. First colon jewel open bracket capital J close bracket. You have not persuaded me that you found a sequence, so chessmen, you have the chance of a bonus point. We're going to guess at first colon Pascal open brackets. Did you say P A? Capital P, little A. Uh, close brackets. First colon Pascal brackets, capital P A. They are eponymous SI units, but yours isn't a sequence. Why is yours a sequence? Well, we hope it might be going back in time that James Watt lived after, Anders Celsius lived after Isaac Newton lived after Blaise Pascal, but. That's exactly it. Pascal oh. <laughs> is the earliest person to have an SI unit named after him. Not in his lifetime, of course, but of the existing SI units going back in time. The first or earliest scientist would be Pascal. So you get a bonus point, and which question? Water, please. Water. <laughs> why, why? It's a music sequence. A lovely new introduction for this series. You will be hearing a maximum of three clues. I want to know what will come forth. Here's the first. And you can tell everybody This is your song, isn't it? Yes. This is uh, next, please. Good times for a change See the look I've had Oh, I know your voice Make a good man turn back oh, I can't do it yet So please, please, please Let me, let me, let me Great. Next, please The power of Hollywood. Is it John, somebody, Frank? Do we know John, somebody, Frank, somebody, what else? Three seconds. Please, please. Uh, Luke. What, Frank? John, something, There was Frank? some Gospels or something. Um, the uh, something uh, to do with Matthew, a piece of music to do with Matthew. Not a sequence, I'm afraid. Orienteers, do you know? I uh, certainly won't sing it, but I think we would have heard Keen somewhere only we know. Somewhere Only We Know is the right answer, and why is that? They are four consecutive uh, songs used as the, the Christmas advert for John Lewis. That's absolutely right. Elton John's Your Song, The Smiths, Please, 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 Frankie Goes to Hollywood, The Power of Love. The next Christmas advert music was Somewhere Only We Know. We don't have it to play, but I'm sure we could have a quick burst of the chorus now. Oh, why don't we go... Somewhere Only really We Know. <laughs> Do you know, that could have been used in the advert. <laughs> that would have been absolutely lovely over some heartwarming images. I hope someone will mix that up on YouTube for us. Very well done, and your chance to choose a question. Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. These are going to be pictures. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Eight, Eight, That's Eighth Dodger. Uh, oh, is it this reindeer? Dodger. No. no. Dodger. Next, please. 
So you well, Jack Wilde and Mark Lesser were the actors of that, in case that's the clue. But anyway, um, I, I mean, Arthur um, Dodger Tiger. Dodger Tiger. Dodger Tiger. Are they the baseball teams? The oh, yeah, yeah, Dodgers Tigers. What would be the link the numbers? Uh, I'd need to know. Should we get a little next piece? Oh, that's that. Yeah, Three seconds. Fifth, a picture of a giant. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So, chessmen, your chance for a bonus point. Um, we'll guess fifth and a picture of a Yankee. No. The picture marked eighth. You are looking at a person who broke the commandment, thou shalt not steal. Oh, my uh, goodness. The seventh oh, right. commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. The sixth. Thou shalt do no murder. I wanted to hear an example of someone who might have broken the fifth commandment, honour thy father and mother. So no bonus chess men, but you do have a choice. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. I am Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx's first bird. One and Let's go next. Yeah. Next, please. Any, any idea what a prill horn is? No. Next. Oh, the April. But anyway, uh, next, please. Oh, it's got March, April, May oh, in, yeah, in possible, it, so it's concealed. Yeah. So it's June. So Juju next or something. Is there a word Juju? Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Terry and June. Terry and June. Well, um, well um, a phrase such as "I am Juju next." <laughs> that would be an acceptable answer. <laughs> we went with "I am Cajun English." The words March, April and May are hidden, so I wanted to hear something that had hidden the word June. Well spotted. Back to you, Orienteers, for the last choice of the round. Lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Doesn't mean anything to me. No. Next, please. 13.6. Are these vile verses? No. Oh, what's the number? Six, three, one, one, two, six. Next, please. Two point one. Touches. Uh, mm. There's nothing to clear about. Is there anything sort of constants in science or? No, I can see. Um... Three seconds. Zero. Zero point one. The answer is zero point one. <laughs> Do you know why? It felt good mathematically, but I have no idea why. The reason it felt good mathematically is because these are standard deviations. Standard deviations of a normal distribution. Naught point one. You found that in the, the deep reaches of your mind without knowing why. So the last question, I of Horus, will be for you, chessmen. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. That's a search engine, isn't it? Yes. Is it the fifth biggest search engine, but then fourth, third, second one? I think we have to go Beam, next. Beam, Beam or something. What? Do we have to go in? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go yeah, yeah, next. Uh, next, please. Still searching. OK, so... Second Bing? Uh, it? third. What would the third be? Um, uh, yeah, the third Yahoo. No, isn't Yahoo, Yahoo going to be bigger than... Does Yahoo Ooh, count as the search Yahoo, engine? Yahoo Bing. Uh, it's three or... What is it? It's, oh, it's Bing. Yeah. Three or two, isn't it? I think next. Uh, next, please. Oh. Is that Three seconds. So it's some kind of brand something. Second um, Yahoo. Uh, second Yahoo. Would not work in the sequence, I'm afraid. No. Orienteers, do you know? Second Coca-Cola. Doesn't work either. These are examples of camel case where you get a capital letter in the middle of the word. Oh, no, what the fourth, fifth I actually is really wanting it. you to do is look at the fifth letter yeah, in Alta Vista, which is a capital V. The fourth letter of Ask Jeeves is capitalised. The third of McDonald's, I wanted an example of something that had a capitalised second letter. We went with iPlayer. Okay. At the end of round two, the chessmen have five points. The Orienteers have five points. <laughs> Time for some horrible final connecting walls. 16 clues all jumbled up that the teams need to sort into four groups of four. Perhaps it would help if you thought of it as a chessboard, only an oddly shaped one, and with clues instead of chess pieces. 
You will be going first, chess men, and you have the choice, lion or water. Uh, water, please. Water. You have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Four, seven... It's history, chemistry... History. Is, are they oh, in that song? Uh, I yes, I'm much about history, don't know much about biology, biology, which is don't know much about the French I took, yeah. don't know much chemistry. about a science book... Oh. Chemistry. No, without reading oh, a science okay. book. There's channels, there's four, seven, alibi, alibi discovery and history. Oh, right. So go back to the song. Velvet. Well, no, because it's the science book of the fourth. Velvet book. underground. Oh, Velvet the, revolution. But October there's one revolution. Piece, but hang on. Well, no, we've used history, yeah, so it can't no, be that. No. Right. Um, Orange revolution, Velvet revolution, French revolution, and October revolution. Yeah. Okay. Three okay. strikes and you're um, out now. So Nobel prizes. Uh, what do you Peace, mean? Peace, economics, physics, chemistry. Uh, well, we could. Well, um, it's is a there show, a show jump, sexy, sexy no, 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 no. Well, shall we... There's uh, no Nobel Prize hang in on. biology. There's no, no in biology, so it's going to be those. So, we're going to... So, we're going to... So, we're going to... Biology, sexy, no, no. Sexy, no, no. Oh, is it, um... Yeah. It's not Girls Aloud or something. Girls Aloud is the show. It's a song by Girls Aloud, isn't it? Uh, mm. Jump could be, uh, biology might be one yes. by the yeah, go, girls go, go allowed. Should we try these yes. Yes. The Nobel Prizes and the girls allowed yeah. That's it. You've solved the final wall. So that is four points for the groups. What about the connections? The first group, history, four seven, alibi, discovery. Uh, television channels, I suppose satellite television channels or sort of TV <laughs> channels is good enough. The second group, Orange, Velvet, French, October. Uh, they're all revolutions. They are revolutions. The third group, Economics, Physics, Chemistry, Peace. And uh, Nobel Prizes. They're Nobel Prize categories. And the last group, Jump, The Show, Sexy, no, 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 dot, 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 Biology. Well, my younger colleague tells me this could be um, Girls Aloud songs. Or... Lucky they brought yeah. a hip younger colleague like <laughs> yourself, Henry. They are Girls Aloud songs. So, I'm going to give you four points for the groups, four points for the connections, two points for getting it all right. That is the maximum of ten. Very well done. Time to bring back the orienteers and give them a horrible final connecting wall. See if they can sort it into four connected groups of four. It's going to be the lion wall because the water's been taken. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, we've got London um, streets here. We've got plenty of hundreds. Yeah. Um, long distance blood road runner, long distance runner, road runner. Oh, correct. Yeah. Um, it must be a runner one of the or... take out one of the. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know about any other. Oh, Bow Street runners. Bow Street runners. Should we try and get that out? Quite early. So where have we got? Road runner, blade, blade runner, runner um, long distance runner, and road, road runner. runner. Uh, so we've got five London streets here, do we? Do this. Let's have a look at the other score while he does that. Okay. Um, what does what could rough mean? Does Buster Brown mean anything uh, to you? Uh, uh, unless it's a rough, rough. I don't know. <laughs> I don't no. Know. Um, rough. Camel is a type of cigarette. No. There's black no. and things. Like okay. Awesome. Yeah, I think Mayfair. I mean, cigarette. Oh, yeah. camel, Strand, Mayfair. Mayfair, Camel. Palmer. Palmer. Very nice. <laughs> Three strikes okay. and you're out now. Okay. Mm. Buster Brown. I mean, other than the collar, the rough. This is an anagram. Denial. But, um, Denial. There's no other anagrams. There's nothing there. London. Anything to, around, do, anything to do with lines or anything to do with... Uh, Any sort of... Uh, Objective words, doing. things, rough. Look here. London's mm. Rough. Uh, well, rough the in, noise um, a dog makes. In, uh, in bridge kind of thing. Uh, uh, Daniel. Uh, the famous Daniels. Um, and the lions. Uh, the circuses. Is there a bit of a circus? Yeah, the circus. So London Road, Piccadilly Road. Uh, what are ones that look, we're running out of time, what things might go together in a sort of... Places. You've got 30 seconds. Oh, it's, this feels too obvious, doesn't yes. it? But... <sighs> I don't know who Buster Brand is at all. No. Uh, but... Jack words. Whitehall, Jack London, Jack Daniel. Jack Black. And Jack Black. Jack Black. Yeah. Which one's name? Whitehall. Jack Whitehall. Jack Whitehall. Very nice. <laughs> Solve the wall. <laughs> About 15 seconds left. Very well done. So that's four points for the groups. What about the connections? Road, Bow Street, Blade, Long Distance. Can all be followed by Runner. Yes, they can. The green group, Strand, Mayfair, Camel, Pall Mall. Some cigarettes, I believe. They're brands of cigarette. The pink group, London, Black, Daniel, Whitehall. 
Um, Jack's. Jack's. Famous Jack's. Yes. That's it. Jack London, the author. Jack Black, the actor. Yeah. Jack Daniel, the whiskey distiller. And Jack Whitehall, the comedian. Mm. And the last group, Piccadilly, Buster Brown, Rough Mandarin. Rough Let's say collars, thanks. We know roughs are collars. Yeah. Okay, collars. They are types of collar. So, I can give you four points for the groups, four points for the connections, two points for getting it all right, and that's the maximum of ten. Let's have a look at the scores going into the last round. The Chessmen have 15 points, the Orienteers have 15 points. I don't think we've ever had such a close run thing, so we're going to play the Missing Vowels round for 45 minutes. <laughs> In the Missing Vowels round, actually, you know what, you haven't just tuned in for the first time for the final, have you? Everyone knows the rules. Fingers on buzzers, teams, what are the disguised clues? The first group are all things that usually are found in threes. Don't know this one, it's strings on a balalaika. Orienteers. Colours on the Union flag. That's correct. Orienteers. Hearts in an octopus. Correct. Chessmen. Tenors in the three tenors. tenors. Correct. Next category, be careful, it's Impressionist paintings and their painters. Orienteers. Water lilies and Monet. Correct. Orienteers. Olympia and Manet. Correct. Orienteers. London Houses of Parliament and Monet. Correct. Well, you didn't have time to give me an answer to the last one, which would have been wild poppies near Argenteuil and uh, Monet. 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 And Monet. But the bell has gone for the end of the quiz, and I can tell you that after some brilliant quizzing, finishing with 20 points, the new champions of Only Connect are the Orienteers. <laughs> Very well done. And in an excellent second place, after some equally mind-blowing brilliance over the series with 16 points, it's the Chessmen. Very well done, all of you. You've been fantastic. Sorry, it just didn't work out in the last <laughs> round there with all those manets and monets. Yeah. But thank you very much for coming. And Orienteers, congratulations. You are our new series champions. Very well done. <laughs> in a moment, hold on to your hats for our fabulous closing ceremony. But first, I would like to say thank you for joining us here at Britain's Most Difficult Quiz, especially if you stuck with it for the whole run. Interestingly, if you look back at all the episodes, a full transcript of this series would actually be a palindrome. Well, it would in the unedited version. We have no freedom! <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye.